All right, fellas, what's up? I'm back for another one. I know it's been a hot minute. It's been like a month since I made a video, but uh, we're at the next day since you uh, last saw it. So yesterday, I went to the uh, just an ice show in town we had, second annual, and uh, yeah, I uh, wasn't planning really on buying anything, but I've been really interested in uh, these clam bibs lately. I've wanted them for a long time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give you my just uh, first general impression of them. Rundown, we're going to open them out of the bag together. I'll go through what they are. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, everyone. So uh, the bibs that I got are right here. They're in this bag. They are the, uh, can't even read. Uh, I should probably already know this. Edge. They are the clam edge. I think that's what they are. Ice armor by clam edge bibs. All right. Uh, now that we got the big words out of the way, let's get right into it. All right. Yeah. Let's get this away before I poke a hole in them right away, and haven't even put them on yet. We got a hanger, thanks, appreciate that. I actually bought these through Reeds. They are a very awesome company. But uh, yeah, here they are. So you guys are gonna get to see the front. Front, you've all seen these on different shows, TVs, YouTube, on social media. Um, these ones do not have the flotation device in, which uh, I thought I was all about actually, and something I wanted until the guy at the show who sold them to me said, uh, hey, I'm being dead honest with you, how many times do you find yourself on ice less than six inches? And I honestly haven't been out yet. That's uh, for the people with a little bigger uh, kahunas than myself. So I did not even go with the flotation devices because I don't feel a need for them. So uh, right off the bat, right up here, you know what, let's put these on. All right, so uh, yeah. I got them on. First things first is uh, right here. We got uh, two pockets, very insulated. I find myself standing outside just like this a lot of times. I'm really happy when coveralls put two pockets right here. Instead of having to go in, all the way in, you got two pockets. I like that. Easy for keys, cell phone, wallet, and there's zippers so you don't really want to fall out. Um, let's. Uh, Back it up a little bit here. Alright, so uh, a little farther away, it's hard to see. We got uh, just two pockets. Oh, we got some shit right here. Don't care about that stuff, but one on each side, and that's about it for pockets on this uh, pair of bibs. So, uh, the next thing that I want to show you guys is that. Uh, you know what? We're just going to go face to face here. It's a lot easier. And uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is uh, down on the ankles, around the ankle part of the bibs, there is uh, adjustable heights in there. It's kind of a weird, cool thing with built-in gaiters for your boots, which is really nice. So it uh, keeps your water off your boots, even if you don't have 100% waterproof boots up your leg. Most people wear the mucks and the crosses, I myself included. So uh, I don't really have to worry about it, but for a lot of people that don't, it is handy to have. So I'll show you guys that. All right, so you can see the gator. That still covers right there. That's still tight while the liner's way out here. That's really nice. And then uh, the guy showed it to me yesterday. Oh yeah, right here. So you can un-Velcro this right here, where the Velcro comes together right there. And then see how there's different settings of Velcro all the way up. So you can, if you really wanted to, you can roll them you know, way up like that, along with your gaiters there. So these bibs will fit a, uh, a little larger person who needs an extra large like myself, but I'm also 6'2", 6'2 and a half, so I mean, I do like the extra length that adds here with these, it fits me perfect, but obviously everybody's not built the same, so Clam really hit it out of the park with this one. So yeah, I really had a blast uh, telling you guys about these bibs, there's not a whole lot to them. They're 100% uh, waterproof, 100% windproof. You don't have to worry about getting cold on the ice at all. And uh, 
They're definitely not as warm as their uh, bibs with the flotation device in them, but we can all layer, and a lot of us do find ourselves in and out of the house a lot of the times. So uh, you don't want to dress for zero degrees when you're only outside, you know, for 30 minutes out of a 10 hour day of fishing. That does happen, you know, windier days you'll get that. But you also want something that you can layer a little bit with some, uh, we'll say long johns, sweatpants, jeans, and you're fine outside for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, popping them holes, chasing them fish. These, uh, I got these, they were $125 at the show. I honest to God couldn't tell you what they cost normally but I think they're in the ballpark of 175 to 200. Um, nothing on clam, nothing on any of these guys that make these suits. I personally would not recommend a jacket that these guys make to anyone unless you are a little more, uh, I'm not gonna call you scared, but worried about falling through, you know, you get the whole flotation device, pants, jacket, the whole nine yards. That, uh, that may be what it takes for some people to get out on the ice. Myself, I just have a regular Carhartt work jacket. I'm totally fine wearing that. Like I said, I find myself just wearing bibs and a sweatshirt most of the time. And I find myself plenty comfortable on the ice. So uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun telling you guys about it. These bibs are, uh, hey, I haven't even had them on the ice yet, but I'm sure it won't take me long to find some uh, hard water to test them out. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe, like the video if you learned something, and uh, yeah, tell me how uh, you like your ice suit. See you guys on the next one.